New York City, a place where you can find nearly anything you can think of. But if there's one thing the city does not have, it's cheap places to stay. So when we found a room at this capsule hotel for just $55 for the night, we had to book it. This is either gonna be a great inexpensive option in the city, or it's gonna be one of the longest nights of our lives. Either way, it's time to find out. We're staying at Pod 51 here in Midtown East. It's decently located, pretty close to Rockefeller Center and Grand Central Station, and only a block from the EM and 6 trains. The reviews on this hotel are mixed, so let's just say our chances of being visited by a little friend tonight are not zero. Which I wish he wouldn't have told me because now I'm freaking out about the little friends that we might be seeing tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. So first, we have this nice area where we can put our stuff, hang up our coats and any other clothes. We have some extra pillows, a safe. We also have this cute little sink, cups, and these nice bars of soap that say pot on them. We also have a lot of towels, a hair dryer, and a roll of toilet paper which i guess is to be brought into the bathroom with us we have this nice sign which tells us which bathroom is open at all times so there's toilets one two three and four and when the light turns on it means someone's in there so that's pretty handy for tonight we have a garbage can some hooks i guess for towels or more clothes these cute shutters which i love and a nice view of the courtyard And then bunk beds. Up here, we have a nice TV, a nice outlet. Not bad, honestly. It's actually kind of cozy. It's kind of fun. This railing though, like if I was one to really toss and turn, I think I'd be concerned because this doesn't seem like it's gonna hold me in. Not a big fan of that one. Um, other than that, I think it's good. I guess I got my own reading light. Oh, oh, maybe I broke it. Oh, there it, <laughs> there it goes. The TV is nice. Oh, it's a smart TV. Forecast. Yeah, sunshine. That's fun. That's that into the, 50s, we'll take that the news is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Down here, the person sleeping on the lower bunk also has their own TV and their own outlet. So very accommodating. There's also a desk over here, which has room to work and a phone. I think that our night stay is going to be great. Looking forward to it. Time to check out the bathroom. We're going into toilet number two. You have to scan your key card. Oh, that's cute actually. So when you walk in to the right is the shower. There's a nice subway tile. And then they give you shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And there's a little sink, soap. Then to the left is the toilet and toilet paper, which is great. So we don't have to bring in our own. So all in all, not too bad. We are staying in the cheapest room category, a bunk pod with shared bathroom. And the room came to just $55 for the night, but typically it goes to around 70 to 100. It would have been an extra $20 a night to get our own bathroom, which definitely would add up if you're spending more than a few nights here. Also, there's an inevitable $22.95 hotel fee that doesn't really get you a whole lot, but actually brought the total that we paid for the night to almost $90 plus tax. Well, we've only been here like 15 minutes, but we are already hungry and I promised Kristen some tacos. So we are headed a couple blocks away to one of our favorite taco spots around Taco Vision.
We just got back from dinner and luckily the hotel has Wi-Fi, so we are going to get some work done, maybe watch some YouTube videos before bed. Good night. So we survived our night here in the pod hotel and honestly it really wasn't that bad. It definitely is a little rough around the edges but the beds were super clean and more than adequately comfortable. The one thing that you probably have noticed by this point in the video is that this really isn't your typical pod or capsule style hotel that you've probably seen in other countries. I don't really know why they market it as that so much because it's really closer to getting private rooms in a hostel. The bed itself was really clean and it was decently comfortable, but the room was definitely not as clean. The bed frame had gum stuck to it. The phone looked absolutely disgusting. But that's just us nitpicking. I slept totally fine and that's what's most important. You know, it's really just a place to rest your head for the nights that you can explore in New York City. I feel like at that price point, you're getting all that you need. There's even like a nice courtyard, which we're sitting in right now, and an upper rooftop deck, which is really nice to hang out at. So even if you wanna spend a little bit more time here, like if you need to get work done or something, there's definitely places to do that that's not in the room. It, it was really not bad at all. Well, thanks so much for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. See you in the next one.